Hello and welcome to the video. Today we're diving into the best mods for Cyberpunk 2077 this month. We've got a fantastic lineup that will completely transform your experience in Night City, from visually stunning cars to immersive new locations and deadly new weapons. These mods offer something for everyone. So, whether you're a seasoned mercenary or just stepping into Night City, you're going to want to stick around for this one. Let's kick things off with the Dogtown car meet with apartment in quotes mod. Now, Dogtown is already a pretty intense place, but this mod takes it to the next level. Imagine a vibrant car meet that pops up after 10pm, packed with black market dealers, addicts, and gamblers, all under the watchful eyes of undercover booger bar guest agents. The atmosphere is electric, with cars, lights, and smoke creating an unforgettable scene. But that's not all. This mod also introduces an interesting little apartment. It's a perfect spot for overlooking this new location and a bit of Dogtown. The car meet itself is a sight to behold, and if you're into creating cinematic shots or just love the vibe of the bustling underworld gathering, this mod is an absolute must-have. You can easily spend a good chunk of time just soaking in the atmosphere, interacting with NPCs, and exploring this vibey place. So yeah, this mod builds on the already in the or the feature that's already in the game, where there will be a little meet at 10 p.m. at this place, but this just makes it way cooler. Here's some before and after of what it actually does. It's awesome, really is. But moving on, next up we're shifting gears, literally, we have two incredible car mods, the Lamborghini Venemo and the Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution V1 GSR. Now, if you're anything like me, you know that cruising through Night City in style is half the fun of playing Cyberpunk 2077, and looking at the sights, of course. The Lamborghini Venemo <laughs> mod brings this iconic supercar into the game with stunning attention to detail, the sleek design, the roaring engine, and the pure thrill of driving one of the world's most famous supercars. It's all here. Once you're behind the wheel, you'll immediately feel the speed. The Venano is incredibly fast. And driving through the neon lit streets of Night City is an absolute blast. Apparently that rhymes. <laughs> the handling is smooth and whether you're weaving through traffic or taking it to the highway, you'll find this car is a pure adrenaline on four wheels. It's perfect for those high speed chases or simply showing off your riding style. On the flip side, the Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution V1 GSR offers a different kind of thrill. This mod introduces a classic to the game, a car that's all about precision and performance. The first thing you'll notice when driving the Evo is the incredible exhaust sound. It's deep, throaty, and gives the car a real presence on the road. It's not just about looks, the Lancer's handling is precise, making it a joy to drift around corners. Whether you're tearing through the back streets or engaging in some high-octane combat, the Evo provides a satisfying driving experience. Both cars are fun to drive in their own unique ways, and you can easily spend a lot of time just enjoying the ride. And don't forget, both cars can be acquired through the in-game virtual car dealer, so there's no hassle to getting your hands on these beauties. Plus, if you download the optional files for both mods, you'll be able to customize the car's color to match your style. Nice breath of fresh life into the driving. Speaking of adding life to the city, the More Parked Vehicles Little China mod does exactly what it says in the title. This mod adds a ton of parked vehicles throughout Little China, making the area feel even more densely populated and lived in. The added vehicles don't just serve as eye candy, they actually make the streets feel bussier and more realistic. It's a small change, but it has a big impact on the overall immersion. If you've ever felt like parts of Night City were a bit too empty, this mod is a great way to fill in those gaps and make the world feel more complete. Plus, it adds a little more variety to the scenery as you're driving through or walking around Little China. There are plans of the mod creator to add in other places and more parked vehicles, so look out for that. Currently, it is just Little China. I had a little look, but in the near future, there will be other locations that have parked cars. Next, we've got the Isa Kaya bar and street food location mod. This one's for all the foodies out there, or just anyone who loves a good cyberpunk night market vibe. This mod unlocks two storefronts in Wellsprings, a cozy bar, and a bustling ramen shop. Both are fully decorated with all the street food and night city market details you'd expect in a setting like this. Here's the before and after. As you can see, the mod creator did a very nice job here. The level of detail in these locations is fantastic, making them perfect spots for in-game photography or just hanging out with some tubes. While the NPCs here are static, meaning they won't interact or move around, the atmosphere they create is spot on. It's a great example of how little touches can add so much to the world of Cyberpunk 2077. Also, because I spent a hour trying to find this location because I wanted to find it before I got the mod so I can get footage of the before and after, I'm just gonna show you exactly where the location is. The mod creator uh, like has actually been letting people know where to find it so you can walk there, but maybe I'm just a little bit stupid because I had trouble with his exact, ex uh, with his exact instructions, I still could not find it. But here's the location on the map of where exactly it is. But when you do install the mod, it's pretty easy to just teleport there and, and find it. But yeah, enjoy. This is a great mod, uh, absolutely worth downloading. But moving on, for those of you who prefer to take a stealthy approach or just want to channel your inner ninja, 
The Kunai 2.0 mod is going to be right up your alley. This mod introduces a new customizable throwable weapon that's as deadly as it is stylish. You can choose from like five base colors and three different hilts and then customize the inlay with 20 different options, some of which even have glow or some semi-transparent glass. There's a lot of choices here and a massive list of what you can spawn in. I just picked the first one and I was pretty happy with that. Whether you're sneaking up on enemies or just want a flashy new toy to play with, the Kunai 2.0 delivers. It's perfect for those high octane moments when you need to take out a target quickly and quietly. Plus, the customization options mean you can really make this weapon your own, adding a personal touch to your arsenal. Now, let's talk about some truly unique and powerful weaponry with the Lobotomy EGO Weapon Pack. This mod brings in weapons inspired by the Lobotomy Corporation universe, and they are as creative as they are deadly. There are a few different and powerful weapons in this mod. Also, if you want, you can pair this mod with the PM Online Store mod, as it will allow you to purchase these weapons from the virtual, uh, from the virtual Atelier store at V's computer, which is another mod, Virtual Atelier store. So get those. All links for the mods will be in the description down below, so you don't have any trouble. But yeah, back to this mod that we are speaking of. Without the virtual store, you'll you'll have to spawn them in from the mod page and use Cyber Engine Tweaks console. But each of these weapons offers a unique twist on combat in Night City. Whether you're dealing with hordes of enemies or a single powerful foe, the Lobotomy EGO pack gives you the tools to do it with style. Especially that big sword thing, it's all fleshy. That's really cool. The final mod I have for today is the Hidden Gems map mod, a must have for any completionist out there. This mod dynamically updates your map to highlight hidden gems, Easter eggs, unique loot, and other points of interest scattered across Night City. It's incredibly useful for players who want to make sure they're not missing anything, or for those who just don't have time to scour every corner of the map. What's great about this mod is that it's customizable so you can choose what kind of points of interest you want to see, whether you're hunting for rare loot or just exploring for the sake of exploration. The Hidden Gems map mod makes it easier and more efficient. It's really good and it's dynamic, as I said earlier, but when you have discovered the loot or the Easter egg or whatever it is that the place is directing you to, the marker will disappear off your maps. You won't be going back to places you've already discovered if that makes sense. And there you have it, the best mods for Cyberpunk 2077 this month. And yes, they all did come out this month in the last 30 days kind of thing. Whether you're looking to add some new vehicles, explore fresh locations, or enhance your combat experience, these mods have got you covered. As always, I'll leave links to all the mods in the description below so you can check them out yourself. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more Cyberpunk content. Let me know in the comments which mods you're excited to try or if there are any other mods you think that should be on this list. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, goodbye.